like, come on, colon, just move yourself already. Can we all just like scream at my colon like, move! everybody Anna here it is Monday and it is sunny outside and I I slept in but it wasn't super pleasant sleeping in this pain in my neck and my shoulders and my fingers go away please Anyhow, I am actually currently about to go live on Facebook. Well, actually, I have to put um, a little bit of base face makeup on first because we're just going to talk about eyebrows today. But then I'm going to go live on Facebook. I've already spoken with my infectious disease specialist and we have a plan in place for my IV antibiotic infusions here at home. I'm going to start them it's gonna be like a five day course of antibiotics. I kind of wished it was longer because I feel like that might not be enough, but you know, whatever. Um, so it'll be two days before my procedure. So I'm guessing Wednesday, Thursday, then the day of my procedure, then two days after. So then sun Saturday and Sunday. So Wednesday through Sunday. And it's the same antibiotic that I did the last two times I was treated for this pseudomonas through my previous ID doctors, but it's the safest um, medication to treat it. I guess the other one, there's not many that can treat this, and the other ones can be potentially harmful to your kidneys. They can be hard on your kidneys. So we're treating it with um, cefepime. So there's that little update. I'm glad I got that figured out and now I'm just gonna continue with my day and pretend that I didn't have a total meltdown this morning not meltdown but just it is so discouraging you guys I just want to go to the bathroom so badly my stomach is hurting it's just it's just increasingly hurting like it's just more and more and I'm like getting more and more bloated I'm like I look like a pregnant person more and more but in so much pain anyone who has gastroparesis can relate so much i know you can <laughs> i feel your pain so i'm gonna get going and i will report back to you a little later I just took me relax twice already today three times yesterday twice the day before and the day before that and all week Things aren't really moving along, so cheerio, here goes, Milk of Magnesia, the uh, powerhouse, supposedly. And the unfortunate thing, folks, it's either like, we don't go, or it's like diarrhea. There's no in-between loveliness. I'm hoping we can get there if we can clear out and then we can get on like a good regimen of Miralax with the propulsive, but for now, this is so yummy. Usually it makes me really weak, but um, I don't know. There's been times like my brothers had to carry me upstairs if I was downstairs and I took it but I feel like my body's kind of got used to it. I haven't taken it in a while though. I guess if I'm really weak, I'll let you know. Here it goes, nothing. If you've never taken it before, it's super thick. So tasty. 
No. But you do what you gotta do, whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get better. That's what we do around here. Although it seems like we're doing everything, gotta do all kinds of laxatives. It's like, come on, colon, just move yourself already. Can we all just like scream at my colon like, move! I'm a little bit annoyed. Can you tell? Can anyone tell I'm a little bit annoyed at my colon? <sighs> you know, it's gonna be okay. Because between all this stuff, we should have a little bit of progress in the decently near future. I promise that as soon as something comes out, <laughs> I will let you know because this is, it's kind of critical to my, the next step of my life here. In fact, it is the crucial, critical part. I can't I can't do anything until my colon moves. It's kind of an issue. It's like backing up into my intestines, which back up into my stomach and back up into like my lungs and my throat. I'm kidding, that doesn't happen, but actually my throat has happened before. <sighs> Gross. Moving on, I'll report back to you later. Well, I'm sitting here on the kitchen floor waiting for my noodles to boil. frustrating it's just frustrating I did go to the bathroom once but it's just not that much it's just like what does it take <laughs> I mean it does take a little bit of time for laxatives to work but hmm. I feel like I'm back to where I was before I started propulsive I don't like that. I don't have really any exciting news. I just figured I'd film myself here on the floor because I'm so tired. My body is so tired and I have a fever and I'm so ready to be done with this infection in my feeding tube and ah <sighs> too many things at once it's just becomes really overwhelming and really hard to deal with there are honestly probably two-thirds of the time this at least if not three-quarters of the time uh, probably two-thirds what I deal with on a regular average basis, the struggles I deal with, the emotional aspect is way harder than the physical because the physical stuff, you just bear with it and you just deal with it. But the emotional side is just discouragement, frustration, excitement, this is better, that's worse, what are we gonna do about this? And so it's just really like up and down and all around and it's hard, it's hard on emotions. I mean, that's like life. That's like a whole entire life all put into, you know, a couple years as far as emotions go. And oh, there's my timer for my noodles. So anyway, it's just, ugh, I just had some random thoughts. and. Those are my thoughts sitting on the kitchen floor. There you go. Hey, I'm just, you know, chilling here with all the gas pain and bloated belliness that comes with gastroparesis. Aha, I just made a poem. Rhyme, whatever. I guess it wasn't long enough to be a poem. Well, I tried. Yeah, so it's really hurting and I'm really bloated and yeah, but I mean, hopefully we can get things moving. 
that's that's always the goal and hopefully the gas is kind of meaning that things are starting to move along so anyway I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see, see you super soon good night